what's going on everybody and uh, we have here the Toro Power Max 926 OXE heavy duty two stage snowblower and it has the uh, quick stick I'm going to show you a problem that I've been having with the quick stick is that it doesn't lock so when you're blowing snow this thing always goes to the right like that it seems to be freezing or sticking in here sometimes it locks see right there now it's locked but a lot of times it ain't so what we're gonna do is uh it looks like there's one bolt here i'm gonna take that out it looks about a 10 millimeter take this shield off and there's a screw here it looks like there's two screws on the neck here we're gonna take this apart and see if I can't grease it or something. It looks a little rusty up in here. So I'm gonna take this apart real quick and then we'll start the video from there. All right, so this is just two halves. You can see here's one half, here's the other half. Uh, the bolts do, the screws do look a bit rusty if you can see that. So what I would suggest is putting, uh, so you don't have an issue later taking these screws out and putting some uh, never seize on them but uh, now you can really get in here and see how the mechanism works here um, it seems like it's got when you press this button here which is obviously this would be the blue part you push this down it comes down through this cable and latches here see that my mind's a little doesn't really move that good it is a bit rusty but this part seems to move really well so this part is not the issue so it's either the cable is sticking on me or we take a look here this part here this is your other locking mechanism maybe that's sticking so I think I'm gonna do. Yep. See, it doesn't really like the lock. It looks like I'm gonna take this bolt out here, and that should release this whole mechanism. Uh, so I'm gonna take this bolt out. We're gonna grease all this really good because it's really annoying when you can't control which way this is facing. All right. So when you take this bolt out. Uh, I used a crescent wrench for the one side and a 13 millimeter on the other side. These pieces fell out. I'll make sure you put these pieces back in. Seems to be a couple shims that uh, sit right here. You can see it's kind of like the same shape as this here. So that goes right in there like that. And then I believe the plastic we'll go up against this here so that'll get this section off for you um and now all we gotta do is just pull the cables out and take this out and i'm gonna dip this in oil it seems to be a little stuck as you can see there's rust in here i think i think we could take this mechanism apart it has a screw right here so well, I'm going to take it apart real quick and then I'll tell you how I did it. So, because it's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this and my tripod broke. All right. So if you disconnect this back one, which goes right to here, you can pull this whole mechanism up and then I assume we have to take these two screws out to even get to the other cable. I'm going to take these two screws out maybe three i don't know if this one has to come out it looks like it's a separate piece no it might be the same piece i'm gonna take this apart and then we'll take a look at it all right so all the screws are the same exact size so you don't have to worry about mixing them up you do have to take all three apart i'll try pulling this off there we go that's just a shell so it looks to be as a uh, metal bar, 
comes down into this mechanism here and then here is your actual cable so it looks like to take this off it, we're gonna have to pop this plastic off and then undo the cable all right so this one on the top don't pull off just pull it right off of there like that and on the back side here you can see where the cable comes in right there so you're going to move the cable up into the blank spot and pull it out this one does have a spring on it so you don't want to take this one off leave that one right where it is and uh, i'm going to take this cable off completely so i'm going to disconnect it here it looks like there's a bolt here i got to take out there's like a little mount here and then there's a bolt here and then we can take this out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in oil and move it back and forth a few times so this oil gets inside here and then we're going to lube everything up all the joints all right so to get that out this metal piece you do have to separate this and this is really rusty um, just to have enough room to get the cable out um, so what I did is I put a screwdriver in between there and kind of just worked it with some WD-40 back and forth uh, but I would suggest putting some never seize on this in case you ever do have to change your cable again but from this point on yeah it's the cable as you can see here, I'll pull it, and it's just staying, staying locked. There shouldn't be that much, you know, if I pull this, considering this is on a spring here, it should have enough force to pull this back into spot like that. So the cable is... The number one culprit here so i'm going to take this bolt out this bolt out and we're going to dip it in some oil work it back and forth all right so what i found so far is that the bends in this were actually holding this to the point where i couldn't do this by hand so you're going to want to take all the bends out of this get it as straight as possible i am going to dump oil down inside of here um to keep it lubricated that'll keep it from rusting i don't know if this cable was replaced before i bought the machine uh, i know i didn't replace it but as you can see i can move it by hand now very easily this is what it should do this is what you want so the cable is good it's just the bends that were in it were preventing it from moving easily so when you install these make sure that it's not bent you know kind of like kinked real hard uh, and it's always a good idea to drop these in oil let them sit for about an hour so that you know oil gets into like all these little tiny threads here because these do rot uh, anybody who owned a bicycle knows that these things snap or a lawnmower or obviously a snowblower so I'm gonna sit this in oil I'm just gonna put it in a uh, just like a little thing like this I'm gonna put oil in it and then I'm gonna wrap this up in like a little circle and then move the cable in and out in the oil all right once you get this thing nice and lubed up you can just fit it back into here make sure uh, before you do it because your problem might be different make sure this moves real easy like that might be your issue instead of what mine is but you're gonna Put your cable back in. And then you're going to want to make sure you can just take the cable by hand. You see it's not hooked up. And that you can move it in and out. Very easy like that. So I'm going to put this cable back in and mount it. And we're going to keep it as straight as possible all the way up. Alright, so now for this. What I'm going to put on it is some dielectric grease. You can get this at uh, AutoZone or wherever you want to get it. It doesn't freeze. You just need a little tiny bit of dielectric grease. And just put it on the shaft here. Right, right around here. 
and then you're going to put this back on there and you're going to want to put some dielectric grease where this metal piece goes i have to pop this metal piece off put the cable through put the metal piece back on and then put the pin back now if you're having trouble getting this back together this bar has to go on this side of that plastic drum you have to press this all the way down first uh, i'm still getting a sticking i don't know if you could tell from the video but it feels like there's still it's kind of sticking so uh, i'm going to take this off i'm going to sand these two joints you know the uh where the pins go just to get a little you know the plastic a bit looser uh, i'll show you that in a minute all right so i found out this this is fine this is not causing an issue at all which is this this one here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a a dremel and just file just a little tiny bit inside here just make this a little loose fitting because once it's on here like that even right now see I can't even pull it back off it's really tight so we're gonna loosen that up so what you're gonna want to use is a Dremel just a cheap Dremel and one of these and what I did is I stuck it down in here and went around in a circle on this side and around in a circle on this side I don't know if you could tell but you don't want to take a lot you just want to take enough to get the friction off of this so we could put a dab of oil in here and it nice and free and smooth all right so when you get done you should be able to pull this off by hand with like no restriction you see how i can just there's like no restriction at all so what we're going to do we'll put a dab of oil on here we'll reassemble it and see if it still has that sticking problem all right that seemed to have worked great look at look at that my spring popped off but I mean there is no no restriction at all I mean look I could do it with my hand with no spring action at all there's no sticking so you definitely got to shave just a bit on that cylinder not the shaft but the actual cylinder um, and that worked out great so we're gonna put this back together now yeah so that seemed to work out great there's no restriction whatsoever now really nice nice the way it should be what i'm going to do is before i put it back together i'm just going to throw a drop of oil on this joint here this joint here and some on the cable here and then i'm going to screw it back together all right so when you put this back together the screws go one goes here one in the middle one up here you do have to hit the button wow that feels so much better there is like no resistance at all that's gonna be great but uh yeah you do have to make sure you line up where the cable sits into the channel and this little button right here will get in the way to close the top so you got to just kind of push down on it and then this will clip closed so make sure you put your metal pin back in with your plastic washer on the outside we're going to put the bolt through and put the cable back in and then we'll give this a try and then we'll have to adjust this that's what this bolt is an adjustment and we'll see if we fixed it so when you put this bolt back in make sure wow that's really nice now make sure you don't tighten it all the way tight crazy or you won't be able to move your stick up and down so it's got to be a little loose it has a you know the nylon washer so it's not going to back out if it does back out on you just replace the nylon uh nut you can get them at home depot but you shouldn't have an issue uh but this is the 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 mechanism here that actually locks your position and i was having an issue with that but not anymore so once you get it back together to this point what you're going to want to do 
is adjust this. So you're gonna wanna stick it underneath here. And then I would assume if it's locked and that's up, so you're gonna wanna put it in, kinda pull it just right about to where it's gonna pull on that, but not pull on it. You want a little bit of slack like that. So tighten that, and then you're gonna wanna get this slack out of here so that it's not bent. You wanna keep this straight, cause that was an issue. So I'll show you that in a second. All right, so when you get this straight, there's two little zip ties here. You just wanna move the zip ties and loosen the bolt and you can get this pretty straight. So if everything worked good, you shouldn't have any issue locking in any position that you may need. So I hope this helped you out. Obviously you would put your cover back on with the two screws. Don't forget to put a little never seize on the screws. Put your button back on. Put this cap, pull it back down, which I could do now. Um, you're just gonna pull it back down over top of it and put your one bolt in. And that's how you fix the non-locking quick stick. All right, it's been about a week since I fixed this and uh, I purposely didn't tarp it or anything. As you can see, it's full of snow and uh, it's actually still snowing. I don't know if that'll come up on camera, but uh, you can see I purposely didn't do anything to this machine. And we're gonna see if it locks in place here. I mean, that is working great. So if you're having an issue, this is a fix. Thanks for watching.